Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. In the city of Durham, Her Majesty's passport office sits <coughs> on the bank of the weir. Its glass frame houses civil servants doing their jobs under immense pressure as a result of this government's failure to prepare for the increase in passport applications post-COVID. And I'd like to tell you what it looks like inside, Madam Deputy Speaker. However, HMPO have refused to allow me to visit to speak to workers in my own constituency about their working conditions and the backlogs. And I'll not stand by while a workforce in my constituency becomes increasingly demoralised by the media and politicians pointing their fingers unfairly at the workers. So I put a call out on my social media channels, inviting passport office workers to email me their concerns to raise anonymously. Mm. The response provided stark reading. Yeah. There appears to be widespread mismanagement and structural issues that are slowing the attempts to clear the backlog. These problems include delays in the full rollout of the digital application programme yeah. system, yeah. Incorrect advice being given by the helpline, outsourced to teleperformance, inefficiencies and errors from private contractors such as Soprast Steria, and the double handling of applications. Mm -hmm. There's also been an influx of agency staff, resulting in the current staff being pulled from their roles to train these temporary workers. Staff morale is understandably at an all time low. COVID outbreaks have led to staff shortages, yet staff are under pressure to return to office working, including alleged bullying tactics from senior officials and poor communication from management. Disturbingly, staff have told me they are too afraid to speak out about their working conditions for fear of discipline reaction. Staff are subject to verbal abuse from the public and have shockingly witnessed an attempt to self-harm by an applicant desperate to receive their passport. And tragically, one member of staff's mental well-being was impacted so severely that they told me they had contemplated suicide. After reading these emails, I'm starting to think that I know why HMPO didn't want me to visit. The Honourable Member for Eastleigh asked for facts. These are the hard, cold facts from brave whistleblowers um, inside HMPO. Mm -hmm. The simple fact is that this government has turned our country into backlog Britain, with waiting lists increasing, holidays disrupted and public anger growing. Madam Deputy Speaker, I fear that if the government keep opening help desks in Port Cullis House to deal with the backlogs, then we'll soon have Home Office staff working from behind the dispatch box. <laughs> Sadly, there doesn't appear to be any urgency um, from the government to fix these problems. Despite PCS being promised that 1,700 new staff would be recruited to deal with the predicted increase in pa passport applications, only around 600 have been recruited so far, most of which are agency staff. The government needs to get a grip and come up with proper solutions. Passport officers across the country need to be turned back into positive working environments mm. where staff feel appreciated and can excel in their role. There needs to be a reduction in the use of agency staff and a commitment to work with PCS on workforce planning to properly staff HMPO to cope with the applications without the need for regular overtime. The Government must also work to improve remuneration levels across HMPO and provide a clear timeline for the full implementation of DAP. And I'm confident that once toxic working cultures that have emerged are resolved, pressures will ease and we'll have a service that is once again one to be proud of. Until then, Backlogs will continue to define this government's time in office. They sleepwalk from crisis to crisis, and ordinary people are left to pick up the pieces. My constituents who work for the pass office, passport office deserve better, and so does everyone in Durham who anxiously awaits their passports. It's time this government put an end to backlog Britain 
and treated staff with the respect that they deserve. Thank you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Next minute.